in terms of, um, uh, you know, organizational change isn't going to be enough, that we need, that we need societal change. Um, and uh, the, uh, well, it's, I mentioned Stephen Berlin Johnson with his book on where good ideas come from. He wrote another one recently called Future Perfect. And he talked about, as a matter of fact, most of it is about, is about new models of governance. And he coins this term peer pro, uh, progressive. And he said that these are not people on the left, they're not people on the right. These are people who understand uh, sort of a mix. They, uh, they understand the value of internet technology and how that connects people. They understand, you know, collaboration, cooperation, and, uh, and, and, and that they want to get things done for the, for the betterment of society. Um, and I think that, so, so, I mean, we're at the stage where we're trying to change our governance structures. Um, we're trying to change our institutions. There are questions uh, around religion. Um, there are questions around how companies are organized. There's, as you talked about education. I mean, no one seems to be happy with the education system. And I think one of the reasons for it is that it's a system. I, I think that. Um, but, and so, and then at the same time, there's a counterpoint to each one of those is that while Occupy pushes, then you start getting more uh, police brutality. You get kettling of uh, protesters uh, going on. While um, uh, people are protesting the bank system, you start getting uh, the central banks doing some very interesting things in terms of currency manipulation. Um, while people are, you know, questioning the whole notion of religiosity, you get religious fundamentalism um, uh, counterbalancing that. So, I mean, in, in many ways, we're at a similar situ stage to the religious wars in Europe. So, 150 years after the invention of the printing press, so around 1600, Europe was at war, right? The church was in question. The princes were, were, were figuring out, you know, we got this new tech. They didn't say we got this new technology, but lots of words were being passed around via, um, via books and printing and things like that. Uh, the Bi Bibles were being translated into uh, non-Latin languages. And, but it was a pretty nasty period of time with armies marching back and forth and, you know, the, uh, the creation of the Spanish Inquisition and everything like that as this went through. We're 150 years into the electric age, into the, you know, the um, telegraph was invented around 1850, right? So, so, we're, so I think that now we're seeing what happens with the electrification of communication um, and that all those institutions that are, you know, 100 plus years old, um, are being called into question. Uh, so, you know, the, the thing is, are we going to go into a dark age? Is it going to be, you know, are the forces of reaction going to win? Is it going to be uh, Brave New World? Is it going to be 1984? Or is it going to be something a little bit better than that? Um, I'm willing, you know, I mean, I have, I have children. <laughs> I want the world to be better. And then, of course, we have all of these other thing, issues like climate change, pollution, um, which are real issues. I mean, even the financial collapse is not a real issue. It's artificial. But pollution and climate change are, are real, and we have to figure out ways of dealing with those things. So, um, uh, and, but, you know, I think that the only thing that's going to help us is, again, two billion people connected. You take a look at the advances that we have seen in sciences in the last 10, 20 years. It's absolutely mind-boggling. People don't realize how much more we know with things like stem cells and uh, um, uh, nano-bio uh, techno revolutions going on, the amount of um, technology that we have uh, available within our cell phones, you know, um, and, and, and everything else that... Uh, yeah. Technology is actually the only thing I think that's actually going to help us get out of this mess if we, if we use it appropriately. And that's in terms of better workplaces, you know, better, better organizations, better ways. And that, you know, my focus being on, you know, collaboration, cooperation, better workplace, getting, you know, harnessing the, the human social potential of people. Because most people want to do a good job and they want to do good. I, I, I believe that. 